Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. Uh, on today's video is just a continuation of the last video that I showed you about my pantry makeover. This was basically uh, remodeling our pantry, which was an old uh, storage room that we put everything in and we actually turned it into a proper good working pantry. Uh, I, in, the, in, the, in the last video, I hadn't shown you uh, my system because I was, it was more of a work in progress. I have really progressed on. I have used uh, some of the pantry essentials that I bought previously. If you watch one of the videos for the pantry essentials that I bought uh, stuff from Ikea, I have used a uh, majority of them. And some of them I actually bought from Matalan. So I, I am not uh, defined or confined in one area. I, I even as you go and look out there, there are so many places where you can buy uh, storage material for your pantry or even for other things around the house. So without further ado, uh, let's jump in and I will show you how I've organized my pantry, which is now so easy, easily accessible and more than that, I know where everything is and when it comes to even buying food stuff, I am not over buying because I know visually what is there, what needs to be bought, what needs not to be bought. So let's drive in. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the beginning uh, floor of the pantry. Uh, this area of the pantry, we uh, decided to go with uh, tiles uh, which we'd already used to do our bathroom renovation in the corridors so we decided to use the leftover materials so that's why um, you can see it in the transition between the kitchen floor and the pantry floor is different but we did that deliberately as you can see on the doors I haven't yet uh, put a door because the pantry has turned out to be so nice and perfect for us, I want it to still be visually a part of the kitchen rather than a room that is hidden out there. So that's why I decided uh, to purchase a clear uh, door. So we will have a clear uh, glass door. Uh, so when you're standing, you're in the kitchen, you can be able to see through into the pantry because I am so happy how the pantry has turned out uh, and it, as you can see we used three um, in this small room as small as it is thank god for one thing it is now a walk-in pantry and we have put uh, three shelves in which have fitted perfectly these shelves my husband brought them from um, B&Q they were actually having four uh, slats but he reduced them so that they would be able to fit in and we could be able to actually have a walk in and walk through rather than just squashing into the pantry. As you can see, uh, I have already uh, put uh, my stock out. I have already uh, put labels out. So as you can see, I have uh, different kinds of contain containment. So I have glass, these ones I bought from Ikea, which as you can see, I like the visual look of seeing what uh, I need rather than just seeing uh, in, in paper or, or, or uh, the label, but rather the visual of, I can see this is self-raising flower, but I can see through it and that makes me, uh, and makes the eye um, in a way celebrate the food that is in, in the pantry. I also did other uh, tricks and I think if, if you think that could be helpful for the things which I do not want to actually visually see them like because for example with the snacks I am not able to uh, decant or remove all the bits like with the uh, cake uh, rice, rice cakes so for these ones I just decided to put in a, in a basket where uh, whoever comes in they grab whatever they need and they are happy so with the breakfast as well 
uh, I cannot really remove the pieces of bread or waffles from the bags so they are still contained but they are not unwrapped uh, with things like uh, condiments I didn't want them to be standing out because obviously it is it'll be different kinds of condiments you have your oils you have your uh, ketchups and you have your uh, strawberry or, or jam and all sorts of stuff which you do not want them to be standing out and on this uh, the last uh, shelving I decided there is where to put my fresh produce so I put my potatoes and my fruits and I think it turned out really well and I separated uh, the onions and the garlic uh, to go on the top and I can see visually um, even as I am planning to put the win the clear uh, glass door I can already see the things that I will need to be buying uh, as the week progresses uh, with the dry food and uh, things which I don't use all the time like for baking like sugar uh, lentils lentils uh, lentils beans the pastas those ones I also did want them to be um, I wanted them to be in containers where I can be able to actually visually see them so I know what kind of pastas that I have is it is linguine if it's uh, for, for sillies or uh, whatever kind of pastas because at different times you, you're cooking pastas but you want a particular pasta with the eggs as you can see I have this are organic eggs that's why you see all our uh, meaning organic eggs this we tend to eat the organic eggs and this one we tend to do the baking with so that's why there is that separation between uh, organic eggs and just th those normal eggs uh, with the tinned food I did not want the tinned food to stand out that you can see that's why I bought this these containers I bought them from Morrison's so um, for I think six pounds this one I think I bought for four pounds uh, so with the tinned uh, foods I decided I do not want to see them if I am coming to pick up something if uh, is coconut milk or is uh, uh, beans I can just pick them up and get what I want rather than uh, putting them out for display because there will be different kinds of uh, tinned foods uh, I also do have uh, different kinds of sauces but these ones I just wanted them to be uh, more in a shorter container so that I can be able to actually see uh, when I'm grabbing because most of the time when you're doing the sauce you want to grab maybe to if whatever you have in the fridge is run out and you're just coming in to just grab quickly whatever you want I also do buy um, milk this is uh, plant-based milk so I also did buy this but I did not want to put it in any containment uh, down here I also do have uh, my cooking salt uh, granulated sugar some biscuits uh, and I am still planning to buy some containers uh, which I will be ordering soon for uh, the conflicts because uh, we do have cereals around and all that kind of stuff uh, up here as you can see I have this bigger uh, larger basket this basket and this one uh, these ones I bought from uh, uh, bought from uh, Matalan uh, and this uh, container which is spinnable which I have put my pickles I also bought in Matalan so uh, if you're looking for ideas if you're looking for things they are out there if not buying from Ikea if you're thinking about going even local like me going to Matterland which is in the in the town where I live I don't have to go off because I, Ikea is about an, an hour's drive from where we live so uh, there are things out there that you can buy which will make your pantry look absolutely lovely absolutely um, functional so this uh, containers I did buy from Ikea so uh, this one's the color uh, 
you can find different colors from Matalan, uh, but I love this color, but it's only exclusively from Matalan, from uh, Ikea, I'm sorry. Uh, this container I also did buy from Matalan. It's quite a heavy uh, kind of metal, which I actually like, and it's quite a big container, unlike uh, these small ones from uh, Morrison's that I bought. And these containers, as you can see, uh, for the fruits that I bought, is they're not exclusively for fruit. So you can always play with different kinds of containers. This one, like they're showing in the shop, you can put in your um, pickled stuff. So it's up to you. They are out there for you to have ideas. And for me, I am just showing you what I have managed to do for myself and what is working for me so that you can also have ideas and know what you can do with your pantry. But for me, it has turned out to be so, so um, an exciting project for us. Um, I am yet to show you how the kitchen has turned out, but I am so excited for this little room because out of all the area in the room, in the kitchen and um, this was the worst of them all because it was just lying kind of wasted with so many things thrown out here. Uh, my husband uh, construction things and all that kind of stuff. So I am making it work hard for me and I think and as you can see it will serve me for years to come. And as you can see on this end we have the bits that we do not use of, often like the baking pans so uh, there is a place for all the baking uh, pans uh, this is the sandwich maker this is a waffle maker those are the bread uh, maker pans we have uh, the pan uh, the baking uh, pan for making uh, like turkey or such stuff for, like for Christmas we have this um, aluminium uh, big bowl, we have a slow cooker, we also have those things that we are not using all the time. So uh, in every sense of, this, of the word, all these things, as you can see them, they were all in the kitchen and we did not have enough space in the kitchen as it was. So it was really, really a mixture of everything. Uh, going into the kitchen, the kitchen drawers were really uh, badly organized because things were just overflowing. So uh, with this uh, remodel and renovation both for the kitchen and the pantry, so many things are changing in our lives and we are finding that even how we are organizing our day and our, and our week at the end of the week uh, you you are able to breathe easier because everything is where it's supposed to be and yeah if you enjoyed this video please do remember to give us a thumbs up leave a comment and uh, be sure that I will continue showing you as I improve and especially when I put in a new door I will definitely show you and if you look out for a new video I will be showing you the completed kitchen um, renovation which is the part three of uh, the renovation which I haven't yet shown you because I am still waiting for the door both doors for this and we also have the kitchen door which is going out to the corridor so yeah without uh, saying much uh, I would say thank you very much for watching and uh, I do hope to see you in the next one